Let's start with a question. If you could travel anywhere right now, where would you go? Have your answer? Great. Now let me show you how to get there. Hi, it's Steve from Thor Motor Coach, and this is the 2022 Challenger. When you look around, you can see the Challenger is the pinnacle of luxury Class A gas motorhomes. There are three floor plans. We're going to walk through each and every one, starting in the 37 FH. The FH is a bath and a half model with three slides and a great setup for entertaining and relaxing. This is the River Song decor along with the Sanibel wood. In this space, you have the option of either a sofa or these reclining theater seats. These are great for just kicking back, relaxing, maybe taking a nap, even entertaining. Because when you want entertainment, you have this retractable TV. When you want to relax, turn on the fireplace and look out the large window wherever you decide to camp. So tying into this area is your kitchen and every Challenger kitchen is more than equipped for you to play on the road chef. Whatever you decide to make, you can serve up that meal in the Dream Dinette comfortably seat four here. And at night, you can whip this up into a bed in no time. So look at your half bath is next. This setup has everything you need. This is really perfect for those traveling with guests or when you have company over. There's a lot of space and a lot of room in the bedroom. We're gonna start with the Tilt-A-View King bed. Walking across your bedroom, you have a lot of closet space. There's even room on the dresser top. You have a TV back here as well. You're also prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. Working right into the master bath, look at the space in here. You have a large shower with glass door and skylight. You have a foot flush porcelain toilet. And right across, your sink, along with all the storage you need for your trips. So let's take one last look at the FH as we head into the bunkhouse model, the 37DS. This is your view from front to back, and seen here in shoreline decor with Sanibel Woodwork. The DS offers you opposing seating, so this is gonna be perfect for all the members of your family. Some of you may wanna hang out in the Dream Dinette and play a game. Someone else may wanna put their feet up in the theater seats and grab a movie on the TV. The 37DS has this great kitchen layout with plenty of room to work. On this side, we have a lot of counter space and your cooktop with the microwave above. Then over here, we have the double bowl sink, more counter space, and a flip-up extension. So let's check out these bunks. Each bunk has its own tablet holder, so you can pop in a tablet and stream a favorite show. Or flip the top bunk up, and now you have this massive wardrobe. You get two full baths in the DS. This is the first one, and it's right across from the bunks. In here, your shower, your sink, your toilet, everything you need in a bathroom is right here. Yep, in the bedroom, it's a king-size tilt-a-view bed. You get the large closets, dresser tops, TV, and prep for a washer dryer combo unit. We're gonna wrap up our 37DS tour in the master bath, where you get the privacy and space you need when you are on the road. One more look around, and it's into the 35MQ. And this is a look from front to back. This is shown in night breeze decor with regatta wood. You're gonna have all the seating options you could want in this one. Moving to the sofa, this is big and comfortable. Look at the nice large windows behind for a lot of natural light. This also quickly makes into a bed. You have a Dream Dinette in the 35MQ. This is a very multi-purpose area and you're gonna have a lot of great times here. Across on the campsite, we have theater seating. So after a long day out, kick back, put your feet up and watch TV, which rises up from behind the sofa. You have a fully equipped kitchen in the 35MQ and it's set up on the campsite. Everything you need for home cooked meals on the road is here. Your cooktop, convection microwave, large sink, and your fridge. Checking out your bathroom, it's all here. Shower with glass door and skylight. A nice amount of counter space around the sink and a place for all those extras. You also have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Into the bedroom, this is a tilt-a-view king size bed. And look at all this closet space. You're also prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. So those are the floor plans. Now let's show you the other features you get in every Challenger. So let's start with Rapid Camp Plus. This does everything, even control the standard drop-down overhead bunk. You can control the climate with your two ceiling ducted air conditioners. Set the auto gen start for the 5,500 watt gas generator. Control lights, slides, awnings. You can do it all from the touchscreen or with the mobile app 
from inside or outside your Challenger. The kitchens all feature solid surface countertops, and the sink covers are as well. The cooktops here are great, I love these. You have a single burner induction cooktop and two gas burners. There is also a convection microwave. In the bathrooms, that is a fiberglass shower surround, and all bathrooms have a porcelain toilet. And with tankless hot water, it's easy to grab a hot shower and make it as long as you want. For entertainment, you have TVs, sound bars, HDMI video distribution. You even have satellite backer on the roof if you want to add a dish. You also have a Blu-ray player. And it's easy to stay connected when you're on the road with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. You can connect to a nearby Wi-Fi signal or create your own on-the-go hotspot. You can pay as you go through WineGuard or simply use your current carrier. Just insert a SIM card into the roof-mounted WineGuard device and you're good to go. Using that hotspot, the passenger can post trip pics on the road from the flip-out dash workstation. The outlets below are connected to your 1800 watt inverter. These captain's chairs are comfortable enough for the long drive, and you can spin them around, put the pedestal table in place, and relax with a book or enjoy spicy nacho night. So that's what it's like to live in the Challenger. So what is it like to drive? What do you say we spin these captain's chairs around and get this Challenger out for an RV road test? Simply put, this is a well thought out cockpit. So let's walk through all the buttons, switches, and dials to get you ready for your road trip. Back here, you have a cup holder. You have a nice place to set your phone with a charging port right up above. Here are the controls for your remote heated mirrors. Remember, there is a camera in each mirror, and when you turn your directional on, left or right, whatever is in that camera will show up right here on the display. This is the controls for your one-touch leveling jacks. You have a button for your emergency start, a button for your fog lights, you have auto headlights. Moving over to your instrument cluster, let's walk through this. You have your speedometer, your tachometer, your tripometer, oil pressure, coolant temperature, your fuel gauge, your transmission temperature gauge, and your indicator lights. Right down below your message center, this is gonna show you your engine hours, your outside air temp and your distance to empty. The digital readout is gonna give you two trip meters. Look at your fuel economy, how many miles are left in the tank, how much oil life you have left. You can scroll through all that information simply with the control pad right here on the left-hand side. You just hit OK and then use the arrows to guide you through the menus you wanna see. Down below, we have our cruise control. You know we're gonna use that when we get out on the highway. Over here, the thumb buttons on your right, that controls your infotainment center. We're gonna talk about that in just a moment. You have a couple of stalks on your steering wheel. You do have your wipers, your directionals, and your bright lights. We're gonna talk more about your tow haul mode and your transmission when we are out on the road. Moving down here, you have a button for your hazard lights, dash fans, you can start your generator from here. Cabin lights, map lights, you do have docking lights, and you do have the controls for your nightshade. This button right here is how you turn your traction control on or off. Over here, controls for your HVAC. Let's dive into this infotainment center here because it has all the bells and whistles you need, including navigation. To pull that up, just hit the map button. A home button at any point you want to come back to the home screen, just tap that. The mode button allows you to scroll through your radio, your navigation, if you want to connect an iPod or USB ports, you want your Bluetooth phone, Sirius XM, or even pulling up your rear view camera. You can do that as well with the button below that. You just hit that and the backup camera will turn on. So if you have something attached to the 8,000 pound hitch you want to check on, pop that up at any point. This will also stay on as you are driving down the road. The center dial is your power and your volume, and down below here is how you change tracks. This is also a touch screen here, so all you have to do is touch the icons to pull up what you want, whether it's your camera, your Sirius XM, you do have some settings here. This is how you would connect your phone for Bluetooth hands-free calls, your radio, your Bluetooth music if you want to stream your favorite playlist. You can also go into settings and you can adjust a number of the parameters right here on the screen. A lot of those functions are also controlled through the thumb dial right here, your source, your volume, and you can go ahead and skip tracks. The little cubby right down here is perfect for your phone. You also have ports in there. So you connect your phone to those ports and you have downloaded the Xera RV navigation app, right? That ties into your infotainment center. So now you have an RV specific navigation system that is going to give you all the features and functions you would expect in a high-end navigation app. So I think it's time we adjust our seats, put on our seat belts and get this Challenger out on the road. A Ford F53 chassis sits beneath this Challenger, but this is more than just a frame. This is upfitted by Moride with the true flat floor foundation. 
This is gonna give you a stronger house, more storage, and a smoother ride. And you're gonna want a smoother ride when you put the hammer down on this beast because this is Godzilla. 7.3 liters of V8, 350 horsepower, 468 pound-feet of torque. It is gonna get your Challenger moving. Transferring all that power to your rear wheels is a tweet six-speed torque shift transmission. Now this tranny is designed for heavy duty usage. Everything about it is heavy duty. From the torque converter, the large capacity pump, and that is gonna give you better cooling. You do have a tow haul mode, and that is gonna maximize the way your transmission shifts. It's gonna keep it from running too hot by changing your shift patterns. All you have to do is press the button on the stop, and now you can focus on the road. Let the drivetrain do the work for you. In the event you want to shift manually, just put your gear selector down to the M mode. And then on the stock, you do have a plus and minus button so you can shift the gears manually if you want. One of the things I really like about the chassis on this Challenger is everything about it is heavy duty. The steering is built with heavy duty linkage and pitman arms. You even have power assist with the cooler. Your ride is also built with heavy duty parts. In this video, you can see the large anti-roll sway bars. You have them in the front and in the rear of the chassis. The suspension in this has been tuned as well. We're talking better spring rates and shock tuning. Now, all of this is going to deliver less body roll and more stability for your Challenger when you're out on the road. These next little suspension bits never get enough credit. I'm talking about bump stops. You have larger bump stops on the front and the rear, and they do a lot for your ride. You see in the video here, look for the little yellow things. What they're going to do is keep your suspension from bottoming out, and when you have this fully loaded, they're going to keep you rolling down the road properly. I mean, think about all the weight you have in here when you're on a trip. Those little bits of equipment help support those heavier loads, and they're going to keep your Challenger balanced when you're out on your road trips. With the way this is set up and laid out, you'll have no problem spending longer days in the cockpit, but our trip's about to end so we can pull into camp and walk you around the outside of the Challenger. Here on the outside, with its good looks and long list of features, the Challenger is ready to show up other RVs at the resort. So let's start with the way this looks. This is full body paint with gel coated sidewalls. You get all new colors for 2022. Firekeeper, Marina Bay, this is Pepper Mill. And this is gonna stay beautiful as the Challenger is backed by a 12 year structural, six year lamination and one year limited warranty. Would you look at all this basement pass-through storage? You have side hinged aluminum compartment doors, even a tie-down link, perfect for anything you don't want walking off on its own. When you want a little entertainment, turn the game on the exterior TV. This even has a Bluetooth soundbar. It's really easy to hook up your grill with this quick connect propane connection. All right, so grab your phone. We talked about Rapid Camp Plus, press the button. Now you are set up under your power awning. Now, doesn't this look like a place you could go anytime? This is the 2022 Challenger. To read all the specs, features, and to find the floor plan made to fit you, visit ThorMotorCoach.com.